So LUTs. Aren't they basically a drag and drop way to get your video looking amazing? Well, there's a lot more to it than that. And at the end of this video, you might just want to color grade your video yourself and skip the LUTs altogether. So why would you watch another video about LUTs? Well, because there's thousands of videos out there right now selling you their LUT packs and not really helping you understand what a LUT is. Before we can get to the showdown between LUTs and color grading yourself, we need to talk real quick about what LUTs are and when you should use them. So a LUT or lookup table is a set of numbers which is translated by the software you are using in order to deliberately change the colors of an image. Now that can sound a little crazy, so let me give you just a couple examples. The first example is that LUTs can be camera specific. That means it is used to get log footage from that specific camera and translate it into Rec. 709 color space. Rec. 709 is a standard in color for video like anything you would see on TV or Netflix. So this camera specific LUT takes the log footage from that camera and makes it look like it would with standard color. This is not adding a specific color grade or look to footage, just standardizing it. The second example is that LUTs can be used for creative reasons. For instance, if I have all my footage already standardized to the Rec. 709 color space, I can use or create a LUT that can be dropped on all the footage to give it the exact same grade or look. Now there will still need to be some tweaking from shot to shot, but it can get you most of the way there. So with that being said, why do I find myself using LUTs more and more when creating my looks or grading my videos? Well simply put, it just saves me time. Color grading your video is a skill that I think everyone should learn and understand fully before just slapping on a LUT and calling it a day because it's going to help you understand what the LUT is doing. So if you're just starting out, take some time to learn the color grading process. Now I don't always use LUTs, but when I do, usually it's just a part of the look I'm creating. So don't just use the LUT and think that it will work perfectly for you for any situation. You'll just be disappointed. Okay, so I've said enough about LUTs and color grading. I have a free LUT pack for you guys, so stick around to the end to find out how to get that. But first, let me jump over to the computer and walk you through how I would use a LUT for a specific look. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and this is gonna look a little different for you if you're in Premiere or Final Cut. But essentially, I'm just going to walk through um, kind of the steps I take from log to Rec. 709 to using a LUT. Um, and so I have a clip here uh, of a mountainscape um, aerial, and this is the log profile straight out of the camera. Now, if you've used DaVinci Resolve, you can tell that I've actually created this log uh, look um, from a standard Rec. 709. So I kind of uh, undid the Rec. 709 conversion just for the purpose of this tutorial because I didn't have any log footage offhand at the moment. So, um, so I downloaded these clips, and so this is what a log profile would look like. It would have um, a lot more dynamic range um, and look very desaturated and very washed out. So this is where you would use a specific camera LUT. So let's say you're using, you know, a Canon C300 or something, you know, like that from Canon that shoots C log, and you have a C log LUT to apply to that. That would basically correct it and put it into the Rec. 709 color space. This would be the standard color space that you'd be working in without any, you know, special grading or effects or you know the look that you want to go for. This is just the standard um, Rec. 709, and so that's what the the LUT from a camera um, would do. So you'd apply that LUT to C log, and it would bring you to the Rec. 709 color space, and you'd do that to all your footage so that it would all be standardized. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Um, and then from here, you know, you can start to stylize, and this is kind of how I use LUTs, um, finishing LUTs, that is, to stylize the image and get the overall look to something that I, I like. So I kind of want these to be a little bit more brown, earth tones, uh, bring down some of the blues, and so that's the LUT that I would choose, is it would just activate that color. So this would be the, the look that I'm going for um, throughout each of my shots. So I would definitely take the log and either color correct it or use a camera LUT to get it to Rec. 709 and then apply this stylized LUT to all those clips. Okay, so here we have a second clip that I would just do the exact same thing for. Here's the log profile. 
um, and we have that here and then I would either use a camera LUT or do some color correcting to get that uh, image to look like Rec. 709 to get to that same color space. You would apply that LUT or do the color correction there and then again I want let's say I'm looking for uh, to bring out some more teal in the water and um, kind of a, a different color orange rather than this brown color. So then I would stylize it by using a finishing LUT that just adds some more reds into the brown and then brings a little bit more blue teal out um, of the ocean area there. And uh, so that's that's kind of the look that I would go for. And again, you just kind of go through all the clips. You do these three steps. This is pretty basic. Um, there's a lot more that you might have to do. You might want to have to tweak uh, the settings after the LUT or change the opacity of the LUT so that maybe it's not affecting it as much. But overall, this is that look that you're you're gonna try to go for and you would apply that LUT to all your footage. Guys, that pretty much wraps this up. Hopefully you found this video helpful and this can help your videos look much better. Smash that like button for a free LUT pack and then just click the link in the description below to download. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content just like this. And if you have any other questions, let me know. I'll see you in the next video.